really good game here in Berkeley. UNLV clinging to a two-point lead against the Bears, and a main reason why the Rebels still lead Bryce to John Jones. A breakout game for the transfer from USC. Effective in the long post with his size and length. Finally able to knock down some three-point shots. There's only 26% from the three-point line coming in today, but just in a complete rhythm, especially with UNLV losing Mike Moser, they needed somebody to step up and into his shoes and fill a scoring role, and Bryce DeJean Jones has been that guy tonight. And speaking of, he's there in the huddle, so you see he's going to be coming back in this game. He's got the four fouls. That is obviously a big story for the running Rebels because Bryce DeJean Jones has set a new career eye against California today. And in this second half, Miles, the offense has been much tougher to come by for the Rebels. He's been the main guy. Yeah, well, Cal... Cole Huff off the miss. Anthony Bennett the rebound for UNLV. This Nevada team was a team that was 28-7 and WAC champs last year. There's another three-pointer up from the WAC to the Mountain West, which is a much more difficult lead. And well, you see the, the pull-up three that time. And there's just so much talent. This this Bryce Jones, a sophomore transfer from USC, who's averaging nine and a half points a game to the free throw line because you're good there. Bryce Jones looking for a screen. Moser, sort of a little tip up. Yeah, it was just that was a quick before that before anybody can see on tape. So watch how quick catches it and immediately it, it was it was like a mini alley oop. It was an alley oop from the floor, but he recognized hey the defense is reacting. The quicker I can get it up on the rim, the better. The flow of the game. This Nevada team is really in trouble. They're not a team this year. As the, everybody getting involved in the act, Anthony Marshall knocks down. Hope the Wolfpack that he can get hot because he can score in bunches and in a hurry. Bryce Jones, oh, with story in his face, he still knocks it down. With 4:15 to go in the half, so waits till the double team leaves, keeps that pivot foot pinned to the floor. That's just a really creative play by Malik. For the running rebels. And this is Bryce Jones with a fadeaway jumper. Malik Story in his face. And then Anthony Marshall. Everybody involved in the act. UNLV up with that right arm that had the elbow prop today. He was really showing me. Oh my. Oh, hi. Bryce Jones <laughs> going up. Look at that. That's, that's a long distance dunk. He has the big lead. And on the other side of this break, we'll send you to our NBC Sports Network studio. Dijon Jones rattles it home. A nice response. The fans got going off the Kirk made free throw. And five. We're going to see a great screen come up here, and this is what UNLV has to do. They've got to make sure that in the half court, they make some good things happen. You're going to see right down there, that was a terrific screen that Bennett did for Dijon Jones. Dijon Jones, the response on the baseline. All right, now, now I sp what they're working for is him to catch it in that mid post. Their big guys do such a great job of sealing their men up and conserving footwork. Hardly have to move at all because they use their bodies so well. Sixth time our game tonight. Dijon Jones before the shot on that. Get, where are you going to get buckets from when you don't have a lot of shot? Now, there, there's your guy. There's the guy. Dijon Jones pulls back and on hits Q. a great shot right on cue. He loves that right side of the floor. They run that ISO for us on the baseline. The transfer from Kansas makes sure they run Rebels get it back. That's pretty. Bryce Dijon Jones. He started his career at USC. But because he's such a shot nut, he drove Kevin O'Neill crazy. He was driving the Rebels. Kate Reinhardt, the freshman, kicks it outside. Dijon Jones. Dijon Jones deserves to have that go in the first guy. Coming off a couple of straight losses on the road. Happy to be back at home. And knocking it down from outside. Bryce Deshaun Jones. The Rebels lead by seven. It's because they're so conscious of helping in the paint. Deshaun Jones pulls up. Connects from three. The mismatches have hurt New Mexico early. Here's a mismatch.
mismatch again. Kirk stuck out top with the John Jones. He backs off, afraid of the drive. The John Jones nails the three point. There's Stowe's first bucket of the night. He's only one for four from the field. Marshall penetrates in, kicks outside to the John Jones. Already has two three pointers tonight, and now has three. That was a tough one. The other two, the offense is created. That one, he just rose up over the top and knocked it down. You and Burks with a rebound. This is Anthony Marshall. Bennett posted up, and they're coming to double right away. Nice a kick great inside. pass by Bennett and a great cut by Dijon Jones. A little crazy out here. Two bad shots in a row after that great pass. Speaking of great passes, Reinhardt to Dijon Jones. Dijon Jones has just had two great cuts. Besides the three three-pointers, he's now had two cuts for layup. One from Bennett, okay, and one from Reinhardt right there. Dijon Jones, five out of seven from the field, including three three-pointers. He has 13 points already. Here's a pass from Bennett. They double-team from the baseline side. Williams doesn't get down quickly enough. And here's Reinhardt off the pick and roll. Dijon Jones gets behind Fenton for the layup. To lean in by Burris, but his shot didn't go down, and it's cleared by Bryce Dijon Jones. Ooh, how about Thomas? Man, is that a nice step through. The way he... Now, Burton now, give credit, he's come down twice and set up guys for wide open threes. Well, especially Malik Story, that's a guy he's got to find. He is a terrific three-point shooter. He's got 44 made threes on the season. Well, Reinhardt and Marshall along with Dijon Jones, a three-guard start tonight for the running Rebels. Now they slough off, so Dijon Jones hits the three. Dejon Jones is a very talented kid who's gotten better and better. Now he had a very, very bad game. Now they're in the 1 2 2 zone again. So they've been switching up defensively and doing a nice job keeping UNLV off balance. And as we go under two minutes, what Nevada's done is close this gap. Great tempo for Nevada. They don't want this game in the 70s. There's Dejon Jones, second basket. Job here. Playing different than, than Dave Rice. But now they have one of their own back, and they really like this. Yeah. That's the point. You see it. You see the history of you and I'll be around the building. Is a shot is hit by Dijon Jones. Well, that is definitely a two. <laughs> Great job by Dijon yes. Jones there, avoiding the foul. As a Burton thought he was going to get it, and Burton finishes. Burke went in. They get the fast break to Birch running the floor. One thing about these big guys. You know what I like to say about Steve Alford? The players have done an incredible job. Because Alford's a great coach, but his players have played awfully, awfully well. The running Rebels get on the board. John Jones, the finish off the nice bounce pass from Anthony Marshall. Is he? Because he just doesn't like the rhythm of the game. And in the corner, number 12, Hadzi Amerovich loses sight of Dijon Jones. As a defender, you have to have one eye on the ball and one eye on your man. He has both eyes on Marshall. And as a result, right behind him. And Marshall makes a great pass. And goodness knows, Dijon Jones finishes. Marshall throws, gives it to John Jones, easy two. We've got a three-point game. Good start to the second half. The deep to Dremick and Marks, both playing the three personal fouls. Mosier, nice pass. To John Jones, and the Rebels have the lead. Mosier, Darren George. Great look and a great cut. Be active. The ball goes to the low post. Go to the basket. They doubled him. That means somebody's wide open. Marshall wants to clear out. Wants to work off Thompson. John Jones from the free throw line. Man's over the years. He 
John Jones up ahead. And UNLV on the board. And there's another problem is turning the. Yeah, it's an issue of timing. Somebody started it, as they like to say, as Dijon Jones hits one. Yeah, that's just too easy. And that's what see Marcus Page and Dexter Strickland putting better pressure on the ball. They have got to be better defenders. Dijon Jones weaving in, and he picks up the bucket. He's got pointed at his left shoulder. UNLV can take the lead with a three. Nice play by Bryce to John Jones to get in there and post a guard. You know, be just trying to exploit Matt B.A. draft, throw potential, all that stuff. You can forget that James Michael McAdoo is just a sophomore. Up ahead of the pack, Bryce to John Jones with a dozen now. And that's the kind of thing Jones trying to post up, but Marshall's going to have to take a dribble over to the sideline in order to get him the ball. Oh, nice shot. Terrific individual move by Bryce DeJohn Jones. There you can see record screen after the initial diagonal up screen. The extra pass there, and Hawkins hits. DeJohn Jones did a really nice job of shot faking, getting the defense up in the air. They've gotten beat up pretty good against number 20 UNLV. They have more than held their ground. Here's Bennett. Oh, oh my goodness. drawn in this ball game and boy a good angled pass and Bryce Johnson comes over to try to get some pressure on it but that is a man-sized finish there by two great rebounding teams here tonight Dijon Jones and that's UNLV's first field goal of the evening I can't tell you how talented Dijon Jones is if he ever gets it the Thomas and Max Center, and in their last 33 regular season games, they're 32 and one at home. And another three from Deshaun Jones. Now that is good half court offense, and that's where UNLV good shot selection right here is a drive and a kick to a an extra pass from Ryan Hart to Bryce Jones. He knocks it down, and then the next one off another drive and kick Anthony Marshall. Another extra pass by Kate Reinhardt knocks down another one. They knock down another one. This guy accounts for like 110 points on the season just from offensive rebounds. And it's not like he's 6'8", 6 6'9", 6 he's 6'5". Six His talent is he plays well. Dejon Jones having a day. He's already got 10 points. I like the way Dejon Jones is playing. I would like him to knock off the mark there. Ike Meyer can't hit the three. And the rebound down to Dejon Jones. Moser sets the screen to Sean Jones. He's red hot. I'll tell you, I, it's one of those shots that you take if you're red hot. Not crazy about it, but this guy's feeling it. Season, last season, it was a quick exit, but they are back, and they are feeling good about where they are right now. Shot clock down to nine, and Dejan Jones, a sharp shooter for UNLV, connects, gets him on the board. Now the Rebs. John Jones takes and down it goes. Acrobatic move to the basket and a foul. And John Jones and one. Bryce DeJohn Jones is a guy who can really get up and down the court. And he is a great finisher in transition as he shows you right here. Takes the contact, goes under the basket. And UNLV seemingly has recovered early in the game. Certainly didn't feel like a 12 seed. They advanced. They didn't feel like a 12 State. seed either. <laughs> the winner of this game will match up with the winner of Syracuse and Montana, which we will have next here on True TV. Great defense to John Jones and throws a fastball right in the midsection of Alan Crabb. Now he wasn't trying to throw it in the midsection. He's He's just trying to throw it off the offensive player. But this is what we're talking about. UNLV has to do a good job denying that dribble penetration. The two freshmen matching up against one another. Wallace and Reinhardt. Now Wallace on Dejon Jones, elevates. Oh. Dejon, you get the idea that Dejon Jones is feeling it so far today? Yeah, he is a tough draw. He can really elevate on that jump shot. It's one of those things that's just horrible to look at. 
And you thought his season was over at that point. But he's been able to come back. He's played in now 21 games since. DeJon Jones for three. He's wow. off to a great start. Bryce DeJon Jones had 19 points against New Mexico in the Mountain West Championship game. For his offense, but he can score inside. His first field goal of the game. Crab quick release, but DeJon Jones got a piece. Pointers. UNLV loves to shoot the three. They shoot nearly 20 a game. There's a turnover. And Marshall all the way to the finish line. It's different between these two programs. These two already played earlier this year in the regular season. A lot has gone by as John Jones connects once again. Now, Mike, that, Mike Montgomery's defense, he'll give Gator for the county and his mom a math professor. And his sister is a soccer goalie for the University of Arkansas. Overweaving Marshall. And outside, big time hit by DeJon Jones. Big time because they needed to score from the field, and they have. Now you want to know why they want to prevent penetration into the middle. This is why, because you get into the middle of that defense, the defense collapses. That's what the defense is taught to do, and that opens it up for three. DeJon Jones dancing on Greenwood. Oh, a three. Back to back threes here by DeJon Jones here and UNLV. Nice rotation over there by the freshman Anthony Bennett. Rebels are shooting 36%. The throw and move inside by DeJon Jones and a foul called on Bear Stone. Starting to light it up a little bit, and this is not necessarily a great shot. No passes, just dribbling out there, and Greenwood was right in his face. Obviously falling down as he was shooting it. It's a good shot because it went in, but here get ready for the stretch run here in this second half. Maybe get something a little bit out of Mike Mosier here offensively for the Rebels. Dejon Jones. Oh my goodness. Hits it again. That's a long two. It's an eight to two run by UNLV. And a tie game at 44. And DeJon Jones is the guy who has gotten hot, and that is key to Las Vegas run. This place is starting to get loud. The sophomore from Los Angeles, Bryce DeJon Jones, has scored all eight points in this 8-2 run by the Running Rebels, and he has tied the game for the second time in the second half, now at 44 apiece here at the Reese's Mountain West Championship game in Las Vegas. Well, tomorrow they can get a Reinhardt three, a Reinhardt three right here. Well, UNLV's in scoreless almost five minutes. Three points in the last nine and a half. Outside shot by DeJon Jones won't go. He'll put up another three. That time it drops. 13 offensive play down by six. Here come the Rebels. And they still have plenty of time. They yeah. don't have to necessarily take wild shots. Like that, DeJon Jones! Oh, he's been a flamethrower in the second half for UNLV. He's got 16 points. He brings the Rebel faithful to their feet. It's a three-point game with 2.07 to play. The Mountain West Championship from Las Vegas on CBS. Moser. He is not afraid to shoot. He has been ultra aggressive in the early going, even though until then his shot hadn't been going down. Sloppy play, and John Jones will take it all the way for the dunk. Excellent job by Bryce DeJon Jones of getting through that handoff. And he just blew the easy look. He's got to dunk that. Nobody around him, got to throw that down. Meanwhile, smooth touch for John Jones, who we mentioned has not been shooting the ball well this season. Up top, bad pass by Cobbs. Marshall right there to steal it away. Maybe numbers for the running Rebels. The late pass, and Bryce to John Jones will go to the free throw line. Great job of anticipating the careless play by Justin Cobbs, who actually has a negative assist. 
potent on offense at times, but he's got to do a better job in that turnover department. And he's more than capable. He was two to one assist to turnovers last year. Jones makes the free throws, so. UNLV's offense has just gone stagnant in the second half. The elevated three is good. A big shot for Bryce DeJaw Jones. Excellent rhythm jump shot. David Kravis actually did a great job of getting around in front of Bennett. Where Mark Still trailing the play. Thurman had it poked away from behind. And now a foot race. Bryce DeJaw Jones with the finish. I don't like the fact that Richard Bryce Solomon DeJaw. wasn't in a full sprint to try. Solomon at the big first half has been quieter in the second half. UNLV needs some more movement against this zone. Too many players are just standing. John Jones, that's a long range three. Four closeout by Allen Crabb. I know DeJon Jones is only shooting 20. Berkeley. And it's been Bryce DeJon Jones first with the steal and the breakaway and the strong finish at the rim, carrying the Rebels to this lead and then knocking down the nice rhythm three point shot. The Bay Bridge, the look. Close call. Rebels have it. Now back on offense. Bryce Jones feeling it in the second half. What a game for him. This is what UNLV and Dave Rice needed from him. A breakout game for the U. Conference home opener for the runner Rebels. Hawkins in the lane. Bryce DeJohn Jones hits his first shot. And a new role for DeJohn Jones coming off the bench tonight. Both guys going simultaneously. Nice steal here. DeJohn Jones, he's got Mosier. And Mosier basket and the foul. A great run out from your big. And as I watch him go down, you watch him land on the elbow. You've got to wonder if he's affected at all. He seems to be attacking the basket very well for a guy who's dealing with an injury. He looks 100%. Yeah, he sure does. You look at him run the floor now. Watch him hit the ground here on that elbow. Seems like he's doing all right. Falcons. So he's on the bench. We'll have to see what Coach Filipovich will do in terms of when they bring him back. John Jones, that's a beautiful stroke that time. This is a guy who got pulled out of the lineup, comes back in. John Jones from the other side, and he connects a long two for John Jones. You know, really, we talked about it earlier in the first half. They're occupying it. Floor, which forces the defense to play in all the defense is inside you got guys stepping out the ball moves around knocking down open shots it's gonna be tough for Air Force to cover that much ground to cover the inside and have to scramble out and cover shoot John Jones fouled and he'll go to the line to shoot too. John Jones a 75% free throw shooter and that's gonna occupy the center of the floor doing a great job scrambling out of it Got to give them credit. John Jones hits the free throw. Two for two. It's impressive. Those are confident foul shots. Once again, you see the young fella Bennett really working hard in the post, not getting the ball. You see the guards of Air Force occupying that high post position, not allowing the ball into the weak ones. Marshall, good pass. Easy finish for DeJohn Jones. There we go. We just talked about hey, who's going to be the leader out here. Who's going to create something for... DeJohn Jones. He's not shy late in the game. Stepping up big time. I mean, that's a big shot. It's a tough shot. That's one you might hire possession. We're going to get something good. But here, great shot from T-Shot Jones. Wow. I mean, that is a tough shot. And like I said, that's one you might get honks for. You might hear the horn go off and get yanked back to the bench if you miss. Quick shot in the shot clock. About 25 seconds left on the shot clock. But just a great individual effort. If you look at Air Force. UNLV. There is a little bit more than a three-second difference between game clock and shot clock. I think in this case, you take the first best shot. You don't, you don't be overpatient. You take the first best shot you get. John Jones has been the best offensive player in overtime. He's got the ball and an open look. Got it! Wow. He might be back in the lineup after this game. Air Force gets the timeout. 11 seconds to go, trailing by one. 
you think again, Air Force finds a way to get Michael Lyons the ball in space and try to drive to the goal. Yeah, I think, and Kim Birch. So if Air Force can get that switch again, I think that's what you got to exploit. But you look at this guy, man, Tushan Joe just making big shot after big shot. He's hit two down the stretch from the same position. He's now got 16 points in the game. You, you've got, you got to think he's working his way. He's working himself into more playing time. He's playing very confident basketball. Like I said, didn't start. Came right out and got right after him. Well, this is what this team has needed. Somebody who wants to take the big shot. Yeah. And he's emerged tonight as that guy. That's the tough thing is, I mean, Bennett, I bet, would take the big shot. But he could point that attack the basket, really draw that defense in to get a good look. All right, here we go. Lions will drive, put it up. No good. First the rebound, and he's fouled. I think Birch might have been 13 feet in the air when he got that ball. He was way above he the rim. He was way above the rim. Honestly, Lions got a good look. Got it. He got the ball 50 feet out and attacked. I think he gets a good look here from the foul line, gets himself turned around, but watch Birch go up and fly to get this board. Wow. Impressive. Birch has not attempted a free throw tonight. This game is not over, even if he makes two. Air Force will have a chance to run the court. That's the safest play. And DeJon Jones is fouled, and Fletcher's saying that he was out of bounds. Fletcher fouls out. So DeJon Jones fittingly is going to go to the line with a chance to seal it. Let's see if Fletcher actually has a case, because the first thing he did was look up to say he was out of bounds. Let's take a look at the baseline here. No, he got mugged. Yeah. I don't know how he's making an argument for that one. He mugged him. They're capable of testing the most talented team in the Mountain West. On the road. Then they're going to give a lot of people some trouble this season. Absolutely. DeJon Jones now has 15 second half points, yeah. 17 overall. You know, we talk about the identity of this team. And I think we learned just something. Just another game. We learned something, but it changed again. DeJon Jones and Birch were the guys who stepped up in overtime. Yeah. They're now one and one in Mount West play. Air Force, nine and five, one and one in conference play. Heck of a ball game, John. Wow, wow. we had a great, great ball game. And this is what the Mount West Conference is. Take a look at Bryce DeJean Jones because at the end of the game, when it seemed for a long periods of time, nobody wanted to take the big shots. Bryce DeJean Jones wanted the rock and he delivered. Yeah, he did deliver, and it's not just the, the confidence to take the shot. It's the fact that he's shooting the ball knowing that this thing's going in. He's shooting the ball with a lot of confidence. You see the hand up. You see the swagger. You see the emotion. That's something you want to see. I mean, you got one more guy that's going to take a big shot. Watch the follow-through. guy that follows through, holds that hand up. He feels good about that. How about all of his teammates were following through right behind him?